2018 has been an eventful year for gaming, and whether you play games or not, it's undeniable that in the very least, it's been fun to watch. But in case you need reminding of just what's gone down this year, sit down, buckle up and relax, cause this is the 2018 in gaming year in review. Okay, obviously I can't make a video like this about this year and not mention Fortnite. It's the single biggest gaming phenomenon since... Like what, Minecraft? Was Minecraft even this big? What started out as a multiplayer co-op tower defense game eventually evolved into a battle royale inspired by last year's hit title, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. But it wasn't until this year that things really started blowing up for Fortnite. So much so that Epic Games cancelled their other project, Paragons, in order to focus all their energy on this one. Fortnite dominated gaming, it dominated the internet, and it's gonna dominate this video, that's just a forewarning right there. But before we get into all that, I gotta ask you a question. Do you know the way? The Ugandan Knuckles meme was a... Uh it was pretty much the worst possible start to the year. It was popularized in the virtual reality chat room game VRChat and involved a mass number of players choosing an avatar based on a design of the Sonic character Knuckles created by Greg Zilla. These players would then put on a stereotypical African accent, make a variety of noises with their mouths such as slurping, spitting and clicking and would incessantly repeat the question do you know the way? The way to what exactly? I don't know. Some people have said the way to Uganda, the way to the queen, the way of the devil. I guess this is just one of those questions we'll never truly know the answer to. And you know what? I don't mind. Konami released the post Kojima Metal Gear spin-off game, Metal Gear Survive. Yeah, it wasn't good. Smash Ultimate for the Switch got announced and everybody and their mothers lost their minds. It was announced that every character from previous Smash games would be making a return here and this launched the everyone is here meme. But not only that, you had new fighters being announced throughout the year, you had the Bowsette meme which was just a sinful episode to say the least. We even had people campaigning and borderline harassing the Smash devs to add in Waluigi as an actual fighter, to which Nintendo responded by putting in... Piranha Plant. The whole Smash escapade was really just a Reaction Channel's dream come true, and despite the game now being out, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from it. Ninja! This dude has had a big year. His audience exploded in size as Fortnite grew in popularity, eventually becoming the first and only streamer thus far to have reached 10 million followers on Twitch. He also streamed some games of Fortnite with Mr. In His Feelings himself, which led to him breaking the record for the highest number of concurrent viewers on an individual's Twitch livestream. A record he later broke again when he streamed his Vegas Fortnite event to a peak viewership of well over 600,000 live viewers. There was then the hoax of him dying from Ligma, if you're unsure what Ligma is you can just ask in the comments, I'm sure someone will very kindly help you out there. He's also had his fair share of controversies, there was the incident where he added a rather unfortunate improvisation to Logic's 44 more while live streaming with Nateshot. He received some backlash after stating he wouldn't be streaming with female gamers out of respect to his wife and wanting to avoid the potential rumours it could cause. There was the incident with IC5 where he falsely reported him for stream sniping. But more heinous than all of these combined is the fact that Ninja single-handedly convinced people that it was okay to flood my Twitter and Instagram feeds with their Fortnite highlights. No, I don't care that you got a snipe on a stationary target from 50 meters away. Frank, God of War was released in April and skyrocketed its way to being the number one best game of all time. Mwah. And that's official, I've said it, don't dispute it. Epic Games also announced the $100 million prize pool for competitive Fortnite tournaments, leading to a whole new generation of kids aspiring to be professional esports gamers, to the dismay of parents all over the world, no doubt. E3 2018, we still don't know what Death Strand Ending is about. How are you gonna have shown us 27 minutes of in-game footage, trailers, and gameplay, and we still don't know what your game is about? The only thing I can say about this game for sure is 
it's probably going to be better than Metal Gear Survive. Fortnite was announced on the Switch, we got some The Last of Us 2 gameplay, and if the actual game is anything like we saw at E3, God of War, I I'm just saying you're in trouble. We got the Cyberpunk trailer, the Elder Scrolls 6 announcement, and we got some more of that sweet, sweet EA cringe. The EA press conference is always the highlight of E3 for me. It's a mixture of them apologizing for however they messed up the previous year, and them trying to get people excited for the 22nd installment of FIFA. Listen, it's football. The rules haven't changed in 50 years. What new could you possibly do? My favorite part of this year's E3 was this duo. I loved these guys. Young Kev, how has it been, you know, your success and your path, you know, to where you're at today? It's, uh, when I was in high school, I was playing baseball, I hurt my arm. Wow, okay. And this dude in particular delivered my favorite line of E3 2018. Yo, we out Robert here chasing money. We had the Overwatch League Grand Finals won by London Spitfire, but I think the true champion here has got to be DJ Khaled, am I right? No, yo! Shake it! That performance felt like they brought along the hype man in the back, but forgot the main attraction. Spider-Man for the PS4 was released in September and was an instant hit. The game was really fun and genuinely surpassed my expectations for it. We then had the news that Telltale, the company that brought you choice-driven games such as The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, Tales from the Borderlands, Game of Thrones, Minecraft Story Mode, Batman, Guardians of the Galaxy, holy crap! They did a lot of games! We received the news that they would be shutting down, thus cancelling all of their future projects, including the final episodes of their most popular series, The Walking Dead. This shocked fans and apparently Telltale staff alike, as they were seemingly informed of this at pretty much the same time as everyone else. I guess it's not all doom and gloom though, because Skybound Entertainment announced that they had struck a deal with Telltale to finish the final episodes of The Walking Dead. It was also announced that the team behind Club Penguin Island were being let go too, thus bringing the iconic children's MMO to a final close. Damn it, that means I need to find another game to make videos about now? No. TikTok was popular this year. And the only reason I bring that up is because of the I'm already tracer meme. Listen, I'm no meme reviewer or anything. But this one was pretty weak. The song it came from was alright though. Speaking of songs, we had that League of Legends Pop Stars music video that everybody was talking about, and for good reason, it was pretty good. There was also TwitchCon, and guess who's back? It's Ninja. He was roasted on stage, he did a few roasts himself. From what I've seen, the biggest laugh of the night was when Dr. Lupo said to Ninja, Your entire audience <laughs> are children. <laughs> Got him! There was also this guy who made himself infamous at one of the panels. And as weird as that sounds, and it's like, it's kind of like low-key, like, God Complex kind of thing. Oh, you probably shouldn't say it, bro. I yeah. don't feel like many of my viewers should relate themselves to me because, and this is like super, like, kind of like, I, God comp like, kind of weird. Then don't say it, my guy. I do think of myself as better than, or okay. not better, but like, bigger than... Uh, this is going there's, no, there's no good way to say this. If there's no good way to say it, then don't say it. I think of myself as like above the average person, so I don't feel like many people could relate to me. Nah, you shouldn't have said that, bro. The highly anticipated Red Dead Redemption 2 was released and had the largest opening weekend in the history of entertainment. It also had its fair share of controversies, including backlash when the co-founder of Rockstar Games stated that their employees had been working 100-hour work weeks in order to get the game finished. But Red Dead 2 was undoubtedly the biggest game release of the year, and for sure the most technically advanced game I've ever Ever played. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never played a game where the horse testicles shrink in accordance to the temperature in real time. Deltarune came out. I haven't played it yet. I'm just mentioning this because I felt bad about not mentioning Undertale in my 2015 video. I mean, I'll play it eventually. The third annual eSports awards were held this year in London, and who better to present the award for publisher of the year than Deji, otherwise known as Comedy Shorts Gamer. Please welcome one of YouTube's favorite sons and a man that got to punch Jake Paul in the face. It's Deji. You reached the victory. Yes, 
That's it. Yeah. Oh, no. Yo, Twitch. Where's Twitch? What is yo, he doing? Yo, shout out to Twitch for illegally streaming our fight. Oh yeah. my God. You owe us money. Woo. And the winner is, well, this award goes to Epic Games. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, it was, it's a joke. It's a joke. Oh it, it my God. Oh my. Thank you. Thank you. Um. That was bad. That that was bad, dude. Holy crap. Anyway, moving on. Fallout 76 was released and y you know, I, I can't really tell. I don't think people liked it. And that brings us to the end of the year. With some more Fortnite. A creative mode got added to the game, thus completing Fortnite's evolution into Minecraft. Epic Games also announced the Epic Games Store, a direct competitor to Steam which offers a better deal for game publishers. YouTube Rewind 2018 became the most disliked video on YouTube after Will Smith himself commanded that the Rewind prominently feature Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. God of War won Game of the Year, so... <laughs> Yeah. We were also graced with this moment. And the game award goes to... <laughs> Read Boy. We got a couple of posters for the new Sonic movie that's in the works and they freaked out everybody. More specifically, his legs freaked out everybody. I would rather have one of them weird looking characters from Sonic Forces than whatever the hell this thing's about to look like. At least with Detective Pikachu, they managed to make it look cute, apart from the whole having a grown man's voice at all. And to wrap the whole year up in a nice little bow, we got one more Fortnite story. People started coming out of the woodwork left, right, and center to sue Fortnite, not for the battle way our gameplay as PUBG did earlier in the year, but for the dances you can do as emotes. Two Millie, Backpack Kid, and Carlton from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air have all filed lawsuits against Epic Games for including their signature dances in Fortnite. Carlton! I thought you were supposed to be cool. This controversy has led people to question whether dance moves or just human movement in general can be copyrighted. And I guess only time will tell with this one. While we're on the topic of Fortnite dances, holy crap were they everywhere. A whole lot of people were complaining on social media about them being cringy. In fact, the most popular caption I saw on videos of kids doing these Fortnite dances is, we need to bring bullying back. But let me not lie to you. I actually like the Fortnite dances. You sort of just, you gotta, you gotta, Most of you the gotta time. Get in and that's it, people. That's 2018 in gaming. Now let me know, did I miss anything? I mean, I did ask you guys to send in whatever you thought should make it in the video, so if I did miss something, then it's kind of your fault, I'm just saying. But if I did miss something, then please let me know in the comment section below. I want to say thank you guys for a fantastic 2018. It's been a lot of fun and I can't wait to do it again next year. But until then, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.